NATO general warns of Russian trap for Ukraine. Moscow has forced Kiev to choose between losing men or territory, according to retired French general Jerome Pellistrandi, the editor-in-chief of the Review Defense Nationale. In an interview for the French outlet Le Depeche, Pellistrandi pointed out that Russian forces have made advances ever since the Ukrainians' chaotic retreat from Abdiivka in mid-February and are now approaching Chasov Yar and Kharkov. Moscow has in fact presented a tactical dilemma to the Ukrainian command, forcing it to choose between protecting territory at the risk of taking significant losses or retreating and thus giving up ground, Pellistrandi said. In addition to advances west of Avdiivka, Russian troops recently took the town of Ivanivsky, west of Bakhmut, the general noted. This reflects this desire to exhaust the enemy, he said. Moscow knows very well that Kiev lacks artillery shells and by relentlessly shelling these territories, President Vladimir Putin is ultimately preventing the Ukrainians from rebuilding their defenses. This is a way of forcing them to give up ground and exhaust their stock of weapons. According to Pelistrandi, Russian troops are aiming for both Chasov Yar and Kramatorsk, a key crossroads for Ukrainian logistics in Donbass. Its loss would be dramatic for Kiev and pose serious strategic and logistical difficulties, he said. Kharkov also came under heavy bombardment last week, Pelistrandi said, adding that Ukraine is on the defensive along the entire front and urgently needs more ammunition. Review Defense Nationale is considered France's preeminent military publication. Founded in 1939, it is traditionally led by a general officer. Pellistrandi has been editor-in-chief since 2014. In 2022, he also joined the French outlet BFM TV as a military expert. Poland launches Armoured Vehicle Coalition for Ukraine. In Warsaw, the opening of a coalition of armoured vehicles in support of Ukraine took place, reports the Ministry of Defence of Ukraine. As noted by the department, during the meeting, representatives of the participating countries formulated a position on strengthening the armed forces of Ukraine with certain armoured vehicle models and organising their repair. In addition to Poland and Germany, the initiative also involves the United Kingdom, Sweden and Italy. The purpose of the Armoured Vehicle Coalition is to strengthen the armoured shield of the armed forces of Ukraine, jointly enhance our military capabilities in countering the Russian aggressor, ensure the effective functioning, technical maintenance and repair of equipment and weaponry provided to us by allies, said Deputy Minister of Defence of Ukraine Ivan Havriliuk, who led the Ukrainian delegation. Within the framework of the coalition, four syndicates have already been created. Each has been assigned specific tasks supply of weapons and ammunition for Western armoured vehicles, technical maintenance and repair, training of crews and technical personnel, development of effective tactics for the use of armoured vehicles on the battlefield. This is a very important initiative of our allies considering the existing issues in the armed forces of Ukraine with the repair of foreign-made armoured vehicles. I hope that with the help of allies, we will be able to quickly, as much as possible, establish an effective repair base for Western armoured vehicles in Ukraine. Havriliuk added, he clarified that within the coalition, a roadmap will be developed in line with the strategy for the development of the armed forces of Ukraine. It is expected that in the long term, coalition members will assist Ukraine in creating a fleet of vehicles and establishing industrial partnerships with our country. On March the 18th, Polish Defence Minister Vladislav Kosiniak Kamiz announced that his country, together with Germany, was forming an armoured vehicle coalition for Ukraine. The official emphasised that this is one of the most important coalitions. It is worth noting that there are several other coalitions aimed at assisting Ukraine. These include the Aviation Coalition, Drone Coalition, Tank Coalition and others.